Hi, I'm Hank Green, and besides being the creator of SciShow, I am also a musician. There are all kinds of ways to test someone's sense of hearing, but I think music is an especially fun one. That's why I'm excited about this kazoo activity. Also, as a bonus, this activity lets you actually feel the sound, so no matter how good your sense of hearing is, you'll hopefully be able to learn something. For this activity, all you need is a kazoo. That's the whole thing. Just a kazoo. Try blowing into the kazoo. Okay, that didn't do anything. So now you gotta try humming into the kazoo. I'm a trumpet now. So, why do you think humming into a kazoo is so different than blowing into a kazoo? At the end of the day, a kazoo is just a tube with holes in it. There's the hole you blow into, the hole at the end, and one hole at the top, which is covered by a piece of wax paper. When I blew into the kazoo, nothing really happened, but when I hummed or talked into it, it makes that buzzing sound. If you're doing this activity on your own, you might also have been able to feel the kazoo vibrate. This is fun to play around with, but it also really shows how sound and hearing work. Sound is caused by vibrations traveling through a medium, so something like air or water, or a plastic kazoo. When I hummed, I made the piece of wax paper in my kazoo vibrate. Then that made the air around the kazoo vibrate, which created that buzzing noise. Those vibrations moved the air, and that vibration went into my ears and moved my eardrums, and that is how I was able to hear them. Thanks for experimenting with me.